Well, it's a story for so many of the cultures that together embody the United States of America. Parents leave their countries and families in search of better economic times here, often facing a whole list of challenges from language to discrimination. But more than anything else, the worry over what will happen to their children that they've left behind. Well, our next guest is using the stage to share her own story of being separated from her parents, left to live with her two grandmothers in Guyana, and then making her own immigrant's journey. It's called Demarara Gold, and it'll be performed on August 13th at South Oxford Space in Fort Greene. Ingrid Griffith is the playwright, producer, and star, playing only 18 <laughs> different parts. Welcome to BK Live, Ingrid. Oh, thank you. Just thank one you. Ingrid there. There's, There's at just least one Ingrid. 18 characters, characters inside there. You've got to come see the show to get all of them, though. Well, sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, so Demarara's Gold. Can you tell us a little bit about the idea behind your one woman show? Well, first, I think it was the Guyanese story that mm -hmm. I realized that was not told fully. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it's an immigrant story, but it's Every immigrant has their own unique, nuanced story. But you always just hear, oh, their parents struggled, they came to America, and they had to struggle to fit in, and then they fit in, and then they lived happily ever after. Well, that's, that didn't happen here. The first thing, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm here, so yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. But there were so many other things that happened. Even before we got here, my parents had to leave us, my three, uh, my two other siblings, um, behind because they only got visas for the two of them. Yeah. So that the thing was breaking the news to the seven-year-old girl. And um, of course, in Guyana, you know, it's always, you know, this is what we do. We, we go to America, or we go to England, or we go to Canada. So it was something that was always in our... It was expected. Yeah. yeah. The your, of yeah. Was your parents are going to go, or you, hopefully you all will go together. Yeah. But this time, just my parents went. And um, it was now getting used to living with my two grandmothers in Guyana who were super strict, but that's like a, that's redundant. That's, 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 you know, the idea, like you're saying, this is sort of the expectation, but, you know, plans always sort of change as things are happening. So the plan was the parents come here to America, and Sent you're supposed to come a few soon. years later, soon, soon. Well, you know, as a seven-year-old, they said soon, and I thought soon. And I thought soon might be the end of the year, maybe by my birthday. Yeah. So, and it took five years. So yeah. that was part of that whole thing of yearning for your my parents and not see them for so long. And back in the day, there was no telephone communication. Yeah. So we just wrote letters, which took, you know. Oh, every, I remember the, the letters <laughs> back and forth. Exactly. Yeah. Every month or so, maybe you'll yeah. get a letter if you're lucky. So why was seven the magic age and a lot of the characterization takes place at that seven, that seven soon is going to come? Yes, well, seven, it took, uh, she was seven years old. I was, the character was seven years old, the protagonist. Mm -hmm. um, but it took five years to um, get to America, not, not seven. Right. But um, seven, I think it was like I knew enough, but I didn't know a whole lot. Gotcha. And as soon as they left, then the seven-year-old started thinking and wanting to do. And then all of a sudden the grandmothers are saying, no, no, this is not, we don't do this. We yeah. don't, you know, we don't go out and play for, you know, all day. This is not how we do it here. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the seven-year-old, like, the enthusiasm sort of coming out on your face. The, the critics are like, you know, she can play the stern father and the little seven-year-old at, at the drop of, of, of a dime. Uh, we do have a clip yeah, from the show, so let's, let's see you uh, perform. Sure. All it's right. the very beginning, so I think you'll get a good taste of where it starts. Okay. Let's see. The next day, my mom and dad, they show up dressed like they're going to a wedding. <laughs> my dad, his work shoes are sparkling. I've never seen him in a suit and a tie before. My mom's brother, Uncle Vernon, in America, in a letter said, it's winter in New York. <laughs> Dress warm, the place cool. <laughs> Initials on them as a promise that will be back. 
back soon. It's Guyana Gold from the Devarara Mines. Daughter and Ingrid, be good girls, okay? Here, here's a diary. When you don't feel like talking, put your thoughts down. <laughs> right. Daddy and mommy love you, be good girls. Okay now, Gloria, the taxi man is waiting. <laughs> So can you tell us, uh, Demer Demerari Mine? Demerara Mines. Demerara Mines. Yes. So how did you, or why, did you take the name of this mine as the name of uh, your story? And what's the significance behind it? Well, I think a lot has to do with the fact that Demerara is, mm -hmm. uh, is a, one of the three counties in Guyana. And it, it, there, it is also one of the three big rivers in Guyana. And back in the day, mm -hmm. um, my grandfather he would go into the mines, into the jungle, which was near the Amazon, the Amazon rainforest, and he would dig for gold. Um, when the British decided to own Guyana, it did it twice. It was first Dutch-owned, then it was twice owned by the British. They changed that area, the Brazil, Suriname, and just at Guyana, the very brink, mm -hmm. was called Demerara. Uh, but when it became, when the British, British owned it, it, they changed it to Guyana, just our area. But the whole area where they would, like, dig for gold Demerara. was Demerara. Oh. But we also now have a huge river, Demerara River, and one of the counties is also Demerara. Well, it's a personal journey and a historical yes. one through this thing, so— And that's what I wanted. Yeah. I wanted to connect the, the two. I wanted it to connect to my people, mm -hmm. my—and even the, the, the core of what Guyana is, you know, which is about the rainforest and about the jungle and, and digging for gold, and also connect that to my story, which has to do with the core that's within all of us. Yeah. Okay. So, so what can people expect when they, they come out to support and—, and and see this play? And an evening of magic. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot going on. There's, um, I play 18 characters, so they're, they get a chance to see all the characters and all the point of views, which is, um, I think it's really important to hear all those voices and hear what each character is going through, their circumstances, their their take on it. Because the seven-year-old is, is doing her thing and want to come to America and, and is kind of like stubborn with the grandmother and yeah. all this stuff. And then she comes to—she does come to America at 12. And then what that is like for the 12-year-old now coming to the land of gold and seeing how cold it is, mm. how isolated we are, because we grew up on, we lived on Long Island. I went to a school that was mostly white. Uh, so there are all these things that just happened that was so not in my dreams. Yeah. Well, you know, the, and yeah. we're going to have to end soon, but I want to, you know, invite everyone to come out and check out your play. Uh, the criti critics have been raving about it. And just the juxtaposition of your reality there and then your reality here and, you know, just your whole matriculation. It is amazing. I think you said uh, you went from being scolded by your two grandmothers to having to dodge guys in the back seat of cars oh, yeah. real quick. Oh, so. you remember? You know that scene. Yeah, he remembers <laughs> ah. that part, of course. But it's all in the published play, Demerara Gold, that's available yes. right now as well. Yes. It, I'm so uh, glad that it happened. It's, it's now published. So schools, high schools, junior high schools, yeah. college. It's a universal experience Theater that's so can do particular it. to this time and place now. Do you still have the ring that your mom gave you? There she is. There she it's, is. There it is. Right. It doesn't have my, well, it's in one of the scenes, they, it the talks about the initials on them, but yeah. the initials are gone, but the ring is the still here. Is Demerara the Gold, Guyana Demerara Gold. gold. <laughs> All right. It's, well, DemeraraGoldTheShow.com yes. is the website, and the Facebook, Demerara Gold, a one-woman show, is the Facebook. So please, by all means, come out and support. It's going to be a great show. August 13th. And I'm looking forward to it. August 13th. And if you Space. can't make it out August 13th, get the published play, share it in your community. That's right. You got Demerara Gold in the studio and on the finger. Thank you for being here. We <laughs> Thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you.